Welcome to our tutorial about the center line loft feature. Let's activate the circle tool and place a circle right about here. Now I'll dimension it. We'll give it a diameter of one inch. OK. And finish the sketch. Now let's right click and make the XY plane visible. We'll create another sketch. Grab this plane and drag it. We'll offset it by 3 inches. OK. Let's take a front view. And now activate the ellipse tool. Let's snap to the center point. And let's drop our ellipse here. Right click, done. Now let's dimension it. It'll be 2 inches by an eighth of an inch. Click OK and exit the sketch. Now let's hide both the XY plane and our work plane. Right click, unselect visibility. Now I'll place a grounded point here. We'll click on this point to define the initial alignment or position. Let's click Redefine. We'll move it 6 inches in the Z direction and click OK. One more sketch now. Let's put it on the XZ plane. Take a top view. Project geometry. Let's project this point and the grounded point. Now activate the three-point arc tool. First point, second point, and third point, something like this. Right-click, done. Let's dimension it now. Let's make it four and a half inches, 4.5, OK, and exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. We're ready to activate the loft tool. Let's select the first profile the second, and for the last section we're going to select work point one. Now let's go to the conditions tab. Here's work point one. Let's look at the conditions that we've got available. There's tangent, tangent to plane, and sharp point. Let's use the tangent option, and let's change the weight value. I'm going to increase it to four. Click OK. And our loft has been created. Let's double click on loft 1 again. This time we'll use the center line method. Now let's select the sketch. Let's go to the conditions tab and choose the sharp point condition. OK. And here is our loft. Let's apply some more changes to our profile. Back to the conditions tab. Let's select a direction condition for sketch 1 and change the weight. Let's increase it to 10. Click OK. Now let's create another center line law. We'll shift select everything and delete it. Again, right click and delete. Let's create a sketch on the XY plane. Activate the circle tool. And let's place our circle about here. Right click, done. Let's dimension it. Diameter dimension, one and a half inches. Right click and done. Now let's apply a horizontal relation between the center point and the origin point. And finish the sketch. Let's create another sketch on the XY plane. Activate the circle tool. We'll drop it somewhere here. Right click, done. Let's dimension it. The diameter will be one inch. OK. Let's apply a horizontal relation between this circle center point and the origin point. Let's exit the sketch. Now let's go and see if we can create a loft using these sketches. Activate the tool. Choose the first profile, then the second profile. 
We don't have a preview, it is a sign of trouble. Let's click OK. Inventor tries to compute, but the result is that it can't build the loft, modeling failure while building one of the surfaces. Let's create one more sketch on the XZ plane. Project geometry. Select this point and this point. Three point arc. There's my first point, my second point, and my third point right out here. Right click and done. Let's apply dimensions. 2.5 inches and click OK. Exit the sketch. Let's try creating a loft again. We'll select the first profile, the second profile. Let's use the center line option and now select a center line sketch. Here's our preview. Let's click OK. This concludes our tutorial about the center line loft feature.